Okay. Um, so we've got Richard and Shannon. Richard has been the organizer of the Big Busk, and Shannon is also organizing this year. Why don't you tell us what the Big Busk is? So, is that, okay. So the Big Busk is just an idea I had for a bunch of musicians to come play downtown. And why, don't, why don't you start by telling us what a busk is? Oh, busk, the Let's word. start with the simple, lowest common denominator. All right. <laughs> but, <laughs> busk, B-U-S-K, um, means to play music or otherwise perform, perform on the streets uh, for money, for tips. And you can play anything. Sorry, is this on? I don't even, it's, it appears that you were not on. It appears that they may have shut some stuff down. You can play anything. It can be music. It can be a puppeteer. Um, you can have a flea circus and technically be a busker. Um, it just means playing on the street for money. You can do anything as long as it's legal and on the streets. <laughs> so you're good. <laughs> and in Portland, luckily, most things are legal on the streets. So, <laughs> Not necessarily um. on the street, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, but we, Portland does have really lax busking laws. Um, there's one agreement, the Street Musicians Partnership Agreement, which lays some basic rules, like people aren't allowed to play in the same spot for more than one hour. That's loitering. And, yeah. Okay. Kind of. Or yeah. like if there are, say, really good spots, you yeah. know, say here or in front of Nordstrom's or something, people can't play for like three hours or something. They okay. They can't hog, hog, the, hog spot. the spot. Yeah. Um, they can't be too loud. People can play and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and that's it. The other thing is the sidewalk obstruction law. They can't just hog the sidewalk. Is there like a curfew? Not that I know of. I mean, maybe the thing that you dealt with being past 10 o'clock and well, playing too loud. Well, amplified noise. Yeah. Yeah. People are allowed to play like small, small amps, battery amps, and that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so, that's it. so where did the idea for the big bus come from? Just from walking around downtown, really, I live downtown, and mm -hmm. I have this love-hate love relationship with downtown. Uh -huh. I love it. It's beautiful, and everything is close, but not really a lot of people live here, and it dies after a certain hour. Yeah. Um, Shannon and I, actually, one night we had this two-person parade. We walked down literally like 17 blocks <laughs> in the middle of the street, you know, after yeah. midnight yeah. without being kicked out of the road by cars or anything. Mm -hmm. Which totally sucks. It's downtown. It's downtown. You know? You'd think it would be a party, but... but yeah. We so, get sleepy. Um, <laughs> busking is cool. You see a lot of violinists and solo guitar players and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be cool to just bring a lot of people downtown playing different kind of music. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of enliven downtown, I guess. So where does the big busk happen? Happens downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know. <laughs> um, last year, it was, I, I did everything myself last year, basically. Mm -hmm. I called for all the bands, and I organized it all and everything. Um, it was a little diffuse. I got some feedback from the bands that played. And peop some people were playing out by Saturday Market, and some mm -hmm. people were playing by Powell's. Um, some, mm -hmm. A lot of people were playing around this area. And most of them said that they wished that they had all been closer. And being near Saturday Market just kind of sucked, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this year it's going to be mostly Yamhill, Morrison, near the food carts, and probably also up near Powell's and that kind mm -hmm. of thing. I know Target for Tomorrow wants to play Big Ass Sandwiches. Um, oh, Target so. for Tomorrow, Target for Tomorrow, yeah. and your love of the Big Ass Sandwiches. They were fantastic last year. They, um, I met Charlie actually. They're playing in front of Nordstrom's, uh -huh. and they were fantastic. They had like the entire corner there, like ringed with people, and it was awesome. Well, they need a lot of space for the, you know, horns of destruction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they might have been the biggest band last year. Mm -hmm. Six-piece ska band. We had a six-piece gypsy brass band nice. play last year too. This year we're having a nine-piece. Um, like alt folk wow. kind of band. Um, that's I think that sets the record. So how does it lay out? I mean, how how many bands do you have? So far we have what? Tw we have 23 bands so far, but mm -hmm. we have a bunch more that are, are we're still waiting oh, for a confirmation. Um, our goal is 30. 
So okay. um, we want 30 bands spread throughout downtown Portland playing and on one day. And that one day is really popular. There's a lot of stuff going on downtown anyway. Mm -hmm. So they'll be promoting themselves and the busk and all of it all together. It kind of seems like the most festive day in, yeah. in all of Portland. There's the Bastille Day happening. Mm -hmm. There's the Sand in the City happening. Mm -hmm. There's this jazz fest happening up in... So, so how does it work? How do you coordinate? I mean, they're all playing. They're not all playing at the same time. No. Um, everybody plays in one-hour slots. I think okay. we're starting about two. And depending on the number of bands we get, the last spot will start at eight, I think. Mm -hmm. and, you know, It'll two, be over two, by two, nine. two to nine. It'll be over by nine. Yeah. So it starts at two, over by nine. And you just they're rotating around? Yeah. Nobody's allowed to play for an hour in the same spot. Correct. So um, we're just rotating. We haven't laid out the thing yet. <laughs> we, have, we haven't even started the schedule yet. What's the date? But the 17th. The 17th um, of yeah, July. Yeah, Saturday the 17th. Yeah. Uh, they procrastinate more than I do, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. It, it, it all, lends itself it all works well out, to music. But, yeah. I know. And people like Charlie, like he's like, OK, we're going to play here, and then we're going to go somewhere else, and we're going to go somewhere else. I'm like, Charlie is a task-oriented young man. <laughs> yeah. He really and truly is. And you know, if, if you need him for other things, Aside from just the playing of music, no, he's an odd, awesome AV guy. He, he's, he's um, a super yeah, resource, he can he can move the van, he can load equipment, uh, he can uh, he can he can run your cameras for you, if you need that. He can lay the cable. Yeah, he's pretty much all. He, he's all a purpose. multivitamin of a man for sure. Yeah, I don't think he wants people to know that. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you how did you get involved in this though? Are you a performer? No, not at all. No, not at um, all. No. No. Mm -mm. Not even close. No. <laughs> the answer is no. I refuse to touch an instrument, actually. No. But. No was the answer. Uh, Shannon? Uh, Verification? Never. No. No. I've, I've never. I'm terrible. I have a terrible voice. I don't play any musical instrument. Yeah. We just. The ukulele oh. last yeah, night. yeah we played the ukulele last Were you night. Good? Couple, I played a chord. We oh, each nice. played one chord, yeah. and, and, yeah. and that way we could kind of have a song. I think you guys should play the bus. You can be a duet. <laughs> uh, what did we we what we uh, uh, what did we play? Like Servant <laughs> Safari or <laughs> Servant USA. USA. Yeah, yeah. Our 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 ukulele teacher, Bill Derushi, had us uh, play Servant USA. He tricked us into playing it. Actually, we didn't know what we were doing. I was playing a C chord, and you were playing an, a, G. a G chord. Yeah. And, it's and two very auspicious letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, we we did that five times each, and then he started singing the damn song, <laughs> and we realized that we were playing a Beach Boy song, much to our chagrin. <laughs> and then he decided that we were hopeless, and then the next ukulele lesson turned into a performance because he just couldn't teach us anything. Couldn't deal with this. Just couldn't go with yeah. Pupils. We weren't very good pupils. I don't think. Not at not at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> no, not at 3.00. I think we did better with our dance lessons yesterday. So do you have any performers that are not musicians? No, no. this is just musicians. And um, some of them have been busking for years and years throughout downtown Portland and other areas. Some have never busked before in their lives. So it's a mixture of, of just musicians at this point. We're hoping next year to expand it to all sorts of things. There's a really great Portland vaudeville act that we mm -hmm. want to get involved in. And hopefully a sea, hopefully a flea circus. I, even I really am wanting a, a flea circus personally. I don't know. But. I, I should ask. Do you guys have Daryl Lee Thompson performing? No. Okay, no. you guys need to look up Daryl Lee Thompson on Facebook. He's awesome. Just one guy with his guitar. Most oh, inner. He, he was here. Yeah, he's Most fantastic. energetic performer on the planet. Well, we want as many people as possible. Yeah. And we're going to have a meetup beforehand and an after party, hopefully afterwards, for all of the buskers to perform for each other. So, so if, if somebody wants to get involved, yeah. how, how do they do that? Well, the website, um, thebigbusk.info. Thebigbusk.info. It's a very unpopular top-level domain, but, <laughs> you know, it speaks for itself. <laughs> so it they actually ranks number one. If there's the big busk, we're on top. You know, you and is there, yeah. is there is there <laughs> contact info on thebigbusk.info? Yep, it's, it's right on top, Richard at thebigbusk.info. That's me. Mm -hmm. um, and it will tell you how to get involved and how to get a hold of you? Yeah, that's it. Basically, just send me a note. And uh, more than likely, we'll say yes. More than, unless you really, really suck. <laughs> 
Yeah. If, if they say no to you, just please stop playing music <laughs> for, yeah. for all of our sake. They're not even, they, she can't sing. He can't play an instrument. No, and if we turn it down, <laughs> God help you. <laughs> we have yet to turn anybody down for sure. the record. So it would be pretty phenomenal if you had to. It would be extraordinary for sure. But wow. It, it the performers are so good. Yeah. The performers yeah. are great. Yeah. We've got someone coming from Oklahoma, actually. Just to play the big busk? Yeah. Well, they're kind of on a tour. OK. okay. Um, and they've been ranked as, I guess, one of the best bands in Oklahoma. Fantastic. So, yeah. That's kind of cool. But there's some kind of like psych rock, uh-huh. kind of like. <laughs> what is psych rock? I, I don't even know if that's an apt term for them, actually. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're instrumental, and they're really sharp and really kind of on time, and they, they, they do cool time changes and that kind of thing. Okay. Um, but, I mean, but how what is going psych to do rock? an acoustic set? I don't understand. What's, oh, so are these all acoustic sets? Not even the little amplifier? Okay. Well, I mean, some people have little battery amps. Um, one band, they're called the Martyrs. Um, the Martyrs? They... Found a found an outlet over by the mall actually. Mm-hmm. So there are a couple of power outlets, but most of them are acoustic. So I would guess that would be a coveted spot. Kind of, yeah. And a lot of people are there too. But you know, there's that silver man that they have to contend with. So yeah, yeah. That's something. That's kind of his territory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, how far out do we got? Are, are you ready? There's still loose cables. Oh, are are you guys ready? You guys ready? Do it. Yeah, let it play. Richard, do you want to introduce them? Yeah, um, this is um, Shane. Shane. <laughs> He's Shannon, would you like solo. to introduce them? <laughs> this is our friend, our very dear friend, Shane. And he will be performing um, Saturday, July 17th at the Big Busk in a group called Blood Beach. It will be, I think, four of them, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> and they're fantastic, so they'll be great. Yeah. All right, Shane.
Woke up with one in some zone, breathing down my neck. I am not joking for this life is love is death. Rising like a mercury, life from the floor, for my things and they've all come up dead.
Called Blood Beach is like a garage, scuzz, funk, funk band, whatever. We're playing Slap Town on Monday uh, with the Bad Sports from Texas. Thanks for watching. Apparently we're on. Are we on? Hey girls. Hey girl, hey. Is that a thumbs up? 
We are on. We are on. Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? Hi, I'm Robert Wagner from PDX.FM, and I'm here with Jay Mack and Unimatch Radio, also on PDX.FM, Emily Gibson, Megan Kate, and the delightful Michelle. <laughs> Who Ford. doesn't get a microphone? She's just here for decoration. I just, even, I just have to project really well. Yeah, project really well. We'd like to mention that this entire segment is going to help the woman on the corner over Wait, there get it. half a deluxe french fry. And the guy who peed himself. Yes? What? That happened. We're good. We're good. Who peed himself? <laughs> uh, the young, ge uh, elder gentleman <laughs> who was uh, standing in front of the stage just uh, let it spray for everybody to it see. It was Jay. What? <laughs> it really? was Jay. Yeah, he was just standing there, and all of a sudden this puddle kept getting bigger and bigger around his feet, and I was like, that's hot. That is, well, it's hot outside. Yeah. And he Emily was, was said to me, is he pissing himself? And, and I said, yes. Clearly he was. Um, and then we started a huge circle, and we gabbed about it and watched and laughed. Did you cheer him on? Kind of, from a distance, yeah. So how many fluids have we seen here? Puke. Two. Two? Piss? Just two. Two. I haven't Puking seen any blood. Puke and vomit. Oh, I guess I've, saw, I've seen the loogie. Urine. That's three. Three? What other types of fluids are there? I guess runny poo. We shouldn't yeah, we talk about any of that. Yet. This is still a family show, right? Is it? It's all right. I don't know. We're kids, winding Kids down. have runny poo. Isn't it network is after 8 o'clock? There's cussing. After 9 o'clock? This is PDX FM. What were they... A Expecting. Yeah, if you invite and us, then that's the night, problem. Kind of. We are still simulcasting well, this, right? No, it didn't work. No, oh, it didn't work. It broke. <laughs> Something broke. <laughs> we did prepare a contest for uh, this little segment we're doing, which is the PDX FM farewell. Goodbye, 30 hour day. Goodbye. It's what? been real. And what's the contest? Basically, it's not we, even a contest. we picked up three sodas. We picked up a. It's a science show now. One crush strawberry. Mm. We picked up one crush grape. And we picked up one crushed orange. Now, what are we doing with these, Sir Robert? We're going to attempt to dye our fingers. We're going to stick our hand for the next 30 minutes in these uh, sodas and see what color uh, takes to the hand. Michelle and I will not be participating. You can take a sip first, try it out if you want. Taste it. Go it ahead. tastes good. It tastes like crap. Uh, you don't like yours? No, it's you strawberry. Stra I strawberry. I like strawberry. Well, I'm not going to put Can my I try hand yours in there. I don't before you put it. your hand in it? <laughs> yeah, I we'll like mine about. better. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's like some sort of unholy communion. Yeah. How, how is yours? Uh, orangey. Orangey? Do yeah. you like Are orange really crush, a, Jay? Uh, it's all right. I mean, uh, I think that I think that what's the other one? The other orange soda? <laughs> crush? No, no. Sunkist. Oh, Sunkist. Yes, I think Sunkist. Superior. No, Sunkist. Sago. Here's the sure. thing, though. When you stick your hand in liquid, isn't that supposed to make you pee? It's supposed to make if you want to, yes. If you're asleep. So and it's what warm. if we all pee on stage together in unison? No. Then we'll join that old man that's oh, out here. Oh, no. All right, are we ready to dip? Yeah. Do right. it. Three, you two, want me one. to hold this for you? I got you. Okay. Got you. Okay, ready? girl, do it. Get in there, kids. Why is your whole hand going in? Because it's supposed to, Jay. That's part of the deal. Stick I your whole finger. hand in there. No. What? Hand. Get a whole. I feel get like this is no. It's at in. least two fingers. It's in. I want to get already already with it. God, I want to make a statement. Me, Jay? You put two in wood. there. I will Jay. make a statement with my finger. You're kind of a wiener. Jay, put two fingers in it. <laughs> Come on, Jay. It's actually kind of refreshing. Try it. No, no, I'm not putting two in. Four. I'm disappointed. Do four. Oh, come on, thumb? Jay. Just a thumb. It's all right. How's it feeling, Emily? How does it feel right now? I don't have to pee, but it feels. Uh, I, I want the soda in my mouth. What about you, Robert? How's it feeling right now? I actually have to pee. It's because I see it's up to your, it's up to your ring. It's up yeah. to your man ring. Yeah, it's kind of unpleasant. <laughs> man ring. It's like a little pool. It's like a hand Jay. pool. How's your middle finger? Uh, that's all right. Yeah. It, it's okay. it's uh, young and supple. Do you think yeah. this is gonna work? Your fingers, no. Megan? Mine feel dry, and ready. I have a question for everybody. <laughs> if you were to write a misconnection about somebody that you have seen here at Thirty Hour D Day. <laughs> I would like you to tell it to me. Who do we want to start with? Megan Kate. Well, I would have to write mine. I don't know. Oh, God. All right. Out again. Am I, I got out you. again? I got you. Okay. No, we're all out. Um, I would have to uh, write it to the person, um, I, the, the gentleman with the very tight pants that was across on the bricks earlier dancing like Lady Gaga. Because I was feeling that. Was he the one wearing the so white cowboy hard. boots? No, no, no. no. no, no. no. He Did was he have a rainbow belt? Yes. Yes, I know who you mean. I you stole my that's, misconnection. That's Robert's accountant. Oh, no, no, that's really? Robert's accountant. 
<laughs> Shut up, it was not. Yeah, the Fabio hair. <laughs> he was mine. We all have the same misconnection. My mic's back. <laughs> Yay. What? So that's okay. Well, now you guys have to be more creative. Well, all right, so <laughs> Next time, don't the, give it to uh, me first. <laughs> dear gentlemen, standing in the front in your plaid. As a lesbian, I favor the plaid, and I, you just really got my heart when you let the liquid flow through your jeans. <laughs> and if you're out there, I would like to arrange a meeting with you, with you so we could both uh, let liquid flow together from our pants in the square. I have a feeling he's nearby. I don't think he got very far. His pants were probably weighing him down. He was escorted away. He, yeah, but he's probably within earshot. If you're out there... Um, the pee guy? P guy. Yeah. Oh, I, I hope he's heading home. Yeah. You or to a laundromat. Wouldn't yeah. that be a pissed connection? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just, dude, get to a computer. You can email me, emily at pdx.fm. Um, I'll be waiting. It's you? All right, your turn. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Mine would be to uh, the main producer behind 30 Hour Day. I've been gazing at him at afar the entire time. He's a very, he wears dark clothing. He's a strapping man. There he Always is. Right has now. The he's right in front of on. us. Oh, I hey. think his name's Mike. I'm not 100% sure, but he's got quite a wave on him. And um, <laughs> points to his groin a lot, apparently. Yay. Hey, hey. But yeah, if, if you want to hook up, you let me know. But he can wear the hell out of a pair of black jeans. Yes, he can. <laughs> I mean, it's because he only has the one pair, though. But yeah, you give me, you hit me up. I'm Robert at pdx.fm. And, uh, you know, maybe a steak dinner. I got a coupon. $15 off at, uh, what's the name of that place? Oh, Old Pappy's? The A-Crop? No, 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 no. The A-Crop? Country no, Bills? See, see, yeah, Country Bills. You <laughs> country don't want to take a guy like that to the A-Crop because you want it focused on you, not on anything else, not the yeah. salad bar. If you like large cuts of meat, try Country Bills. <laughs> they, got, they got a potato boat. How do you beat a potato boat? A potato the, boat? Yeah. Like a boat filled with potatoes. How about a potato yacht? Like does it have sails? It's more like a yacht. It's if huge. it was a potato yacht, that'd be better than a potato boat. You don't know boat. what a potato boat is? Is there gravy? No, the woman comes out. You get a baked potato. They come out with this thing. It's like this. It's like four compartments. And she goes, would you like sour cream? And you go, yes, I would. Would you like bacon bits? Yes, I would. Would you like chives? Yes, I would. And she puts like each topping in the yes, little cabin? Like a big old ladle full. That is hot. Yeah. <laughs> this is the longest misconnection ever. How did we start All talking right, about potatoes? I would like to hear your misconnection. Country bills. Oh, mine? Oh, right, right, okay. right. Uh, Saw you at 30 Hour Day. In fact, I've seen you at the square every time I've been there. You're a very dashing man. You wear a suit every day. You hold an umbrella, even when it's sunny. <laughs> Who is I was able to dry my clothing on you. I believe he's pointing at you right now. He's, he's looking at you. I know where to find you. <laughs> and I know what you're made of. All man. Because you stand there 365 days a year absorbing this horrific, horrific Oregon weather for what? To point north. Can I break something to you? Sure. Uh, he's already exchanged fluids with somebody in this staff. Who, that guy? Yeah. Yeah, I made him pick my nose earlier. Oh, man. He put the finger in his nostril. We have, we have a photo to prove it. You're spilling stuff everywhere. That's all right. With your one <laughs> finger in your cup. That's actually the cleanest liquid to fall on the ground today. <laughs> Ne oh, no, but you're in a sterile. What? That's an old wives' tale. Oh, true that. So, Michelle, what would your misconnection be? It can't be to me. Okay. <laughs> she didn't even think twice about that, see? She's like, no bigs. We're, there's, there's a tall, dark, and handsome security guard out here who's been making eyes at me all day. Um, I don't know if Baby you're out cop? there right now, but... That's actually just a lazy eye. Oh. Well, I don't care. It was very endearing. Uh, that's yeah. it? You're not wow. getting anything from that. That doesn't, that. And that doesn't take much. Just find me. I'll be here. Let's oh. get a box of wine and uh, see what happens <laughs> behind the dumpster. Let's just see what goes on. I like on. boxed wine. Yeah. yeah, I do, too. It's delicious. With, like, a few, get a few straws. Yeah, like and Franzia. you put a little sugar sure. in the bottom. In the wine? Yeah. Isn't that like a chemical reaction? Spices things up. Sweetens it. Like yeah. a like Makes a bottle of barbecue sauce. Exactly. Robert. Sure. Smooth and succulent. So now, would you like some barbecue sauce? No. I just happen to have a bottle. Why in my don't pocket. you talk about why Emily doesn't want barbecue sauce? This will be a good, uh, you know, wrap up of what we've done here. At PDX. So on, so on this, them. yeah, yeah. So on this morning's morning submission, uh, I voluntarily drank one whole bottle of barbecue sauce, and um, quite frankly, puked it up within minutes afterwards. Mm -hmm. On the same show. Subsequently. You, you and the BMW, donate a thousand dollars right now. For more barbecue sauce, I can't. You in the 5 Series, sir. 
Yes, you. Hi. The wh dis distinguished white gentleman. <laughs> Please. Oh, Donate no? a thousand. Give us money. Come on. He's that, turning. Just don't. Uh, Hi, boo. Don't buy gas for a week and you'll be set. Do you That's see what we're trying to Hello, sir. Shirt today? Donate. We'll take There's your golf bag. around in a BP shirt. No. Yeah. He wasn't having it. I, I farted think by him I think they were from loudly. Washington County. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. So Where, what was your that? most? <laughs> what was your most memorable memorable moment of the thirty-hour day? Let's start with Megan. Again. Again. Yes. That hmm. way we can just steal yours. Lock it well, to you. Well, yeah, I, I made up a song with Emily Gibson here. Should we sing it? Um, one of our vendors here in the square was, was Locket to You, a local jewelry company, Locket Company. Um, Emily proceeded to purchase a locket for her lady friend. A lady friend. And we decided to write a song for her. Wait, for the for lady, the lady friend? friend? For the lady friend. We should uh, put it on a CD and send it to her in the, in the same envelope. Let's do that. It's already costing $90. Wait, do we have to so. pay for the rights to this? Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. already copyrighted yeah. it. Yeah. Does anybody have like a roll of quarters? My... <laughs> My lawyer is already drafting the paperwork, so... So we can release it now? I guess. We need a beatbox. Can you handle that, Jay? I am not a human beatbox now. Robert? Robert? I'm barely a human. Michelle Charlie, can beatbox. Look at her. Charlie She's nervous. Beatbox. She's freaking out. Well, please pick me. Pick me. I don't know what song it is. Just now, make a beat. We'll do it. Let's just say that you're... Okay, so em Emily's lady friend is... is a across the seas. Far, and far away. Won't be back here until the fall. So if you have a loved one, maybe, who is going to be back here in the fall, you could, you know, pay us to use this. This one goes out to all the couples on the dance floor right now. All the couples out there. On your roller skates. Couple skate. <clears throat> Ready? Roller blades. Blades, too. Is it like embers? Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that good. Good. Do that. Perfect. <laughs> lock it to you. <laughs> lock it to me. <laughs> we'll wear our lockets together. And I'll see you in September. So, oh, that was we it. wrote that today. Well, that That's is probably... That's my favorite memory, beside part of, uh, I am part of the PDX.FM crew, uh, co-host Love in the Dump Shoot, Thursdays at 4 p.m. PDX.FM. Um, but beyond <laughs> that, I was uh, our lovely host, Cami Chaos's personal assistant, so my, my second favorite thing was being able to dress Cami. I heard you saw some tits. Oh. Oh, wait well, a minute. Hey, we have some I breaking news. Her. We have breaking news. I dressed her. What? Ring Kate, there's some breaking news. Uh, your Block It To You song just went to number five on the Polish disco yes. charts. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh God. I can't give you a five. Congratulations. Elbows. Touch my cup. <laughs> yeah. Give you some dap on that. So that's my favorite thing. Is that a juggalo? song we wrote. <laughs> what? Is that a, are you a juggalo? You got a lot of face paint on, bro. Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, Spider-Man. Yeah. See, celebrities. That's hot. What about you, Emily? What was your favorite? Um... I think I think the the when I ch when I uh, had ranch poured into my mouth uh, this morning, mm -hmm. and um, it kind of got caught in my submission. throat, and then I washed it down with bacon uh, from one <laughs> Betsy Richter who brought me a package of bacon this morning, and then uh, so ranch and bacon became what it would be a bacon ranch dressing, but I just made my own in my mouth. So that's yeah. really thirty hour a day makes dreams come true, you guys. Oh, yeah, it makes and, dreams um, come true. My, my level's fallen. Oh, Robert, okay, Jay needs a refill. What, what was your most memorable memorable moment, Michelle? Um, actually, a little bit ago in the street, we deemed my dog the uh, mascot for 30-hour day. I don't know if that's, like, okay. 30-hour dog? He's the 30-hour dog. He's over there. His name's Dre. Uh, and then this morning was rad because I didn't have to eat any of the sauce. Uh, what about your 30-hour dump? My what? Your 30-hour dump. Really? Yeah. Where? She took a dump at Nordstrom's. Is that why they <laughs> took the tent away? No, I wasn't even dump. here. I wasn't the one chugging barbecue sauce this morning, all right? My I, stomach... I did a wall bracing one in, in, uh, in Nordstrom's. Did you earlier. see some of the graffiti written in the bathrooms at Nordstrom? I've never been in the bathrooms of Nordstrom. It was like, I'm sporting two turtlenecks, if you know what I mean, call Biff. And it was like a Beaverton number, I think. Biff? They reference a Megan Kate a few times. <laughs> Kate, Megan Kate's name, email address, phone number, social security number, and like her fourth, fourth grade transcripts from elementary school. All A's. And it, it says under each, each one, it says Thursdays at four on PDX. It was right near the urinal. Yeah. I did see the picture of you and one Justin Bieber in the bathroom. <laughs> What's up, Biebs? Are you Biebs. watching? What about That's what why I hang out with you. Because you kind of look like Biebs. Yeah. Cami is unpitching her tent, by the way. Oh, Cammy's tent's Goodbye going bye-bye. Oh. It looks like a taco. Taco tent. 
Uh, what about you, Robert? What was your favorite? For, uh, uh-huh. For Don't say it. I, I yeah. can't believe anything around that dress is unpitching right now. I know, right? <laughs> I well, picked it out. What was your moment? What was my moment? Your, what was your most memorable moment? It's a tie. Between? Um, free cheeseburgers. Correct. Yay, thanks, Burgerville. And, well, um, bless you. Well, I was the best one at putting balls in cups. You or nailed the five-pointer with your, your ball. I did. You did. Trivia last night. I'm here good at balls and cups. That is a marketable skill. All yeah. Right. What about you? Second. <laughs> what about you, Jay? What, what do you, you know, look back on? Um, I think I think my favorite was when I pitched my tent. Oh, I loved when you pitched your tent. Yeah. You had so many poles. Every, I had so much help. And so many holes. In the pitching of my tent. And uh, I just want to thank everyone for getting a hand in there and moving things around and, you know, erecting poles. Yeah. Making it rise. Yeah. So it was touching. The, you know, I, I think, do you think you'll do it again next year, looking back on it? I think I'll pitch by 10 every day. Really? <laughs> You're <laughs> spilling everywhere, Jay. Get that orange up to your knuckle. <laughs> We should uh, take a Is moment. Is that a Jersey Shore a joke? I think it was. <laughs> I think I just made check an accidental well, sticky no, joke. You don't have to pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> I just really? want to know. My uh, finger is like soggy, like it's been in a bathtub of grape juice. You know I, how, it feels do weird. Do we want to check and see where we're at? It's very see. refreshing. All right. How many minutes in are we? <laughs> Seriously? Nice. Oh, yes. gross. Jay? <laughs> <laughs> That is hot. Oh, we still have another 15 it? minutes to go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yours looks like uh, like you. Uh, I don't. I can't go there. It's no. public still. Well, they can talk about Family. TV commercials. Why can't you talk about here? Talk no. About what, we're not doing period? that. Yeah. We're like not a, playing that game. Finger like, finger painters. Finger painters. Yeah. You look like a finger painter. Oh God. Where's the dog? That's he's right he's, there. He's down there. Oh okay. He's making friends. I was what? worried. Who are you? Oh, yeah, Thank Justin. you for bringing me things. Is there a joint in there? Oh. The race to fertilize. The fertilize Harvard what? biologists shed light on teamwork competition <laughs> among mice sperm to reach the egg. Thank Wait, you, sir. The sperm to the egg? There's Thank like a you. race? Apparently. That's what straight people do? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Creepy, huh? Oh, my gosh. What paper is this in? It's like Tour de France. What, is it like a horse race? <laughs> this is an old paper. This isn't even... It's like this a Wall Street Journal from Epoch two years times. ago. <laughs> Epoch? <laughs> like Tupac? The Tupac and then he times? runs away. What a fool. No, stay away. I don't know what you brought me, but I don't appreciate Look, it. Look, Jack Johnson. <laughs> I'm trying to do a show here. We're trying to do a show. Do you want this back? Because now you have nothing to line your cage. It's as simple <laughs> as something that nobody knows. I don't. I don't care. This is the mayor's uh, personal assistant, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> at, least, at least bring me a paper that came out today oh. instead of a couple weeks ago. You know what I mean? Bring me some valid journalism. Science is different every day. Maybe he's from so, the past. Like, maybe he's a time, tra time traveler. Now he must go back <laughs> to the you think future. You'll, you'll go to more school after this? See, Doc Brown? Um, I might now, because now that I know that people like that are running around. You, well, you just received your master's, and um, I, I mean, do you think I you'll did. get your, your doctorates? I might, yeah. There's a school in town. Um, you, you can go to a website. It's called UTI. Oh, uh, yeah? EDU. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, I would like to... <laughs> well, what, do you think they, what do you think that school is for? I, I, I mean, just guessing? Yeah. Um, UTI.edu. Guessing it has a lot. Is it like a... Like a mm -hmm online gynecology school? Close. Well, the dean, the dean of their literature department just left. He brought that paper up. That's. Oh, my God. That's I that just was. burned some bridges. How yeah. am I going to get in? Absolutely. Um, oh, it's a school no. for motorcycles. You tune up motorcycles. You're going to have to get down on your knees and pray. I've been on the... <laughs> what do you think the entrance is to get into a school like UTI? Nothing. Uh, do, do you have a library card? <laughs> a library card? <laughs> Do you, have a, do you have a max ticket from today? Come on in. <laughs> or from the last week. They don't really care. Oh, it's C-Tran? Even better. <laughs> this is sad. They're starting to tear down stuff here at 30 Hour Day in Pioneer Court. Wasn't there a Square. cast party supposed to start, like, now? Wait, Stuff's there's booze? Happening. No, Freestyle. it's in a half hour. I thought I we only had to do half an hour. Where does this commence at? It's in an hour. <laughs> Wait, you need to stop spilling everywhere it's happening. It's like a big sticky mess by your feet. Back at the studio, we have to put plastic Here, use this. this. Chair. I don't want that, so why don't you... <laughs> there idea. we go. We got a use for it. Yeah. It's not even absorbent. Look at that. 
So, so what's everybody doing for the 4th of July? Sleeping. Sleeping? Yes. You will be not participating in any drinking or driving or... I'll probably drink, but I'll be sleeping. Smoking. Sassy cab. While you drive? Or while you so sleep, sleeping, you'll be drinking? Yeah. Wait, you're going to ride around in a sassy cab? No, on the one just drove by. Oh. And that's what oh. we do when we see one. We yell. We that would be a good 4th of sassy July. Cab. Is it like slug bug? Yeah. Only you don't hit anyone. But well, now, oh, why would you do no. that? I don't know. You said it was like slug bug. Rub it off. Rub it off. Rub out. it out. Oh, I made it worse. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, you're not gonna rub do you that think out. This is gonna have long-term harmful effects. I think so, <laughs> but um, I did drink a bottle of barbecue sauce. It, so it's not, starting to know. burn. Can we see where we're at now? Your sure. man ring is almost red. Do we have a time? Oh my, good God. <laughs> Oh, Lord. That's, Jay, that's, that's let me see really that middle gross. finger, bro. Face the rainbow. Okay. <laughs> it really that works. That is hysterical. I didn't think this would work. And and you it should did. take a bath and like the blue one. I and know. just like come in one day, like go to the For Smurf. Halloween, as a Smurf. Room, and just be like, oh. I don't know what's going on. Anybody can take like that idea. This is Creative oh. Commons. You can have that idea. Is this soda, uh, or is this pop? Excuse me, I forgot where I was for a moment. <laughs> pop. Is this pop um, like a higher class than Fago? <laughs> you yeah. mean, then uh, what? Fago. What's that? You know what the Juggalos drink? <laughs> Pee water. Other than blood? I've never. And desperation? <laughs> Other than blood and Have you ever actually had a Fago? Yes. Do you um, like them? No. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, root beer, I guess. Really? Yeah. I like the grape. All right. Grape Fago is delicious. Do we know what time it is? Does anybody know? No. Tacos well, and Kool-Aid. Quarter to something. <laughs> 8.43, thank oh, okay. you, my dear. Okay, sweet, sweet. We've yeah. got time. We've got time. For what? For, um, well, I don't know. Do you want to maybe guess the ingredients on the soda that you have your hand in? I thought Ooh. we were doing word of the day. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I forgot my computer. I can make up a word. And you we can't can do a word of the day without a computer? I don't know a lot of words. Oh, God. <laughs> I could think of one, though. Such preparation. I could think of one. But can I make up a word, and, and I'll, I'll give you clues. You're going to make up a word like a fake word? Yeah. No, could you just actually use a real word? No, if I had a computer up here, if someone Hello. would like to bring hey, a computer, we have light. We Jay is in the, like, you can see oh, Jay goodbye. now. Hello. And now you're just Ooh, I like being that. rude. <laughs> Please. I'll find one on my phone real quick, okay? We'll make it happen. All of a sudden, I'm going to Peter, Peter Frampton I concert. I can hold your cup, friend. Suck it off. There she is. Oh, oh my, even your oh, fingernails. Everywhere. Your fingernails are so dark. Oh, oh it smells. Oh, that's Oh, my God, so it bad. smells so bad. That smells so bad. Oh, it's like rancid Dimatap. It's like old Dimatap. It's all old what? Old Dimatap? What's that for? It tastes like this. What's Dimatap? Dimatap? It's like a cold cold syrup for children, and I used to love it. I'll get you some at Rite Aid when we're off the stage. Sweet. Does it taste good? It smells like this, though. Did you get you drunk? You can put it over ice. Yeah? A little olive juice, make it dirty. Mix it with some NyQuil? Sure. I, I love, love that the folds of your hands are like <laughs> It's perfect. It's great. Can we get some extra light on the phone? Between the fingers is all. <laughs> you could probably go over there. Get some extra light. I'll be back. probably do that. That's kind of what I thought. Oh, jeez. Now I have to smell this. I, it's all over me. She shook it off. Is the red I saw you smell drinking. better than the grape? Smell. Smell my cup. The strawberry smells a little better than the grape. Megan, I saw you drinking Monarch whiskey yesterday. You know, Jay... I know it's from Hood River and all, You were drinking Black Velvet. So. Yeah, how much better was it really? And you were singing 45 the song. cents better. We actually, we actually tried to trade, and we both gagged at the <laughs> taste of the other one's whiskey, so... I mean, they were both bad. You know... You. I, yeah. I just drank all of them. No loyalty. Everybody's been trying to sterilize my cold, so thanks, guys. <laughs> so she spread it around yeah. by drinking everybody else's whiskey. Great. Doesn't whiskey kill germs, though? Says who? It's alcohol. Yeah, that's what I thought. I always rinse with it. Hey, you rinse what with it? My teeth. There is that go. what? Like, like we yeah. We call that, that the hillbilly dentist. Kesha's call. Is that what Kesha does? Yeah. Use it as like a, like a mouthwash. Right. That doesn't work? Brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Because when I leave for the night... I ain't coming back. Thanks, Kesha. <laughs> Do you know that reference, Robert? You know yes. Okay. okay. Why are you looking at me like you don't know? Because I know now. Wow. It's burning. This, I don't care if it's burning, Robert. It's you signed burning. up for it. It's just soda. 
It's I don't just know what to tell soda. You. It's burning. Are you worried? Maybe it's, it's cleaning pop. your man ring. It's pop. Maybe it is. Please. We're north of the Mason Dixon line. It's pop. Listen, I'm when, when born and raised here? in Portland, and I still call it that. I thought everybody called it pop here. I call it soda. I call it, I call it soda. Maybe you got it backwards. Isn't it pop? Maybe in I'm Canada? spending too much time in Washington County. <laughs> Indeed. I think my parents are in Washington County watching this right now. Do we have a word of the day yet? Emily, hurry up with the word of the day. I love you. Yikes. <laughs> we gotta hurry up. I gotta drive that U Haul. <laughs> Do yeah. Do you really? No. Oh. <laughs> with what license? I with what skill? Exactly. <laughs> Give me Stay that away hand, from Marine girl. Drive, you'll be fine. <laughs> Reinsert. Yep. Get it in there. That's there she is. You're soaking in it. <laughs> Still. <laughs> All right. The word of the day is coitus hiatus. Is what? Coitus hiatus. Spell it. I know what it is. Do you what really? Already? Wait. Say it again. Do you really know it? Coitus hiatus? Yes. Yeah, I know what it means. Okay, well then you wait. All right, I gotta put this down to spell. Oh, Jeez, this is turning into the worst spelling bee ever. You don't have to spell it. She's cheating on the soda thing. She should go a couple more minutes. Yeah. Okay, so it's C O I T U S H I A T U S. Coitus hiatus. Isn't that breaking? Having a break in between sex sessions, right? Right. Yeah. Having inter intercourse. I'm gonna oh, well, say that have sucked. That was a that was a non-fun <laughs> word of the day. It's really easy. That's two Not to words. It's two words of the day that have very words. specific meanings. Words of the day. <laughs> was that hyphenated? No. Wow. <laughs> it's two space. words. Space. Just a space. Oh, <laughs> then it's two words of the day. This is the kind of stuff you can hear every day on PDX.fm. It's a yeah. good time. The kind of conversation you can hear about. We'll try one more. All right. The word of the day is mattress worship. <laughs> That's two words. I don't Again. care, Jay. So Mattress it's phrase worship. of the day. <laughs> words. Of so the day. you can ask for two words from the definition. You can trust the audience, or you can ask me to use it in a pickup line. <laughs> I want to hear you use it in a pickup line. So you want to go first? Let me read the definition, and I will concoct a pickup line. I don't know what the word is either. It's really? two words. <laughs> Shut it. What is it? Mattress who? Worship. Oh. Dear girl. You have super nice legs, and due to our interactions last night, I would be mattress worshiping and will not be able to attend the ceremonies this Sunday. Are your you phone's ringing. Talking and to your me? nice legs. So you can just take a guess, you can go for it, you know. You've already used up your lifeline. Are your phone? Yes, my ringing? phone's ringing. Should we talk to whoever's on there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can pick it up. Well, it's already, it's already done. Are you gonna guess the word? We already know the words. It's. I mean, well, the definition. It's the definition we have a problem with. Yeah. I. You're sleeping. That's sleep, right? Um. No, that would be incorrect. Mattress worship. No. Is it more getting it on? You can uh, ask. You can trust the audience, or you can ask for two words from the definition. You want to ask the audience? I don't really know. Betsy Richter, what is your guess at the uh, word of the day? That's perfectly fine. Ma mattress worship. Mattress worship. It's from the UrbanDictionary.com. Or what? Molly Gray. Molly you. Gray, do you? Molly Gray, are you Googling it? Jay's trying to figure out. No, you the can't logic Google it. That's cheating. <laughs> what was that, Betsy? Oh, yeah. you want to hear the pickup line again? All right, dear lady, you Is have nice well? legs. And to our interactions last night, I cannot join you in this Sunday's festivities. You, you didn't, didn't use, use mattress worship. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's mattress. Well, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Just you know, it's in there. No, it's. You I have, have to use it. I have mattress worship because we were shenoodling all night last night on your nice legs, and I cannot go to the Sunday festivities today. Would that be implying that you like your mattress too much to mess it up with this person? And um, so... Well, that would be incorrect, but you can still... Betsy Ricker can still save you here. Yeah. Betsy, come on. I didn't hear the word. Mattress worship. It's a phrase. It's, it's, a a phrase. Phrase. it's yes. two words. It's a uh, term from the Urban Dictionary. It's not sleep. Apparently, it doesn't have anything to do with nookie. Or no? Do we get clues? 
Uh, no, you, your, your lifeline is Betsy Richter. That's what you chose. Come on, Betsy. Does, does, this, you. does this refer to it? Wait, can I just go ahead? No. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Does, oh. this, does this refer to a church where Sherry Heiner is a priest? Uh, no, Betsy, would oh. you like to guess or, you know, just throw something out there? Yeah. A nap? A nap? That would, that, that's incorrect, Betsy. I'm sorry. We said sleeping. She said no. I know, but sleeping nap. Jay, would you like two words from the definition? Sure. Church and tired. You're too tired to go, too tired to go to church, so you worship at home. Uh, no, uh. Th- that would be incorrect. But you're you, close. You're the closest uh, thus far. Would you like two more words? Yes. Uh, sex at night, church. And tired. Having sex on Sunday night. No, uh, you're too tired from having sex the night before that you will not accompany a woman and her family to church the next morning. Are oh, you this kidding? Is way too me? complicated. That's, Are you kidding me? That's the definition. How, how often does that come up? Once a week. Yeah, <laughs> that's common Sunday. enough for it to be on Urban yeah. Dictionary. Yeah, that's a problem. It's okay. That's creepy. I'm, I'm uncomfortable. not sure what to think about that. So is everyone looking forward to the cast party that was mentioned in the schedule? Because if I don't get a cast what, party, what exactly is the cast party? Um, uh, I think we're all going to be. Well, there's nothing. It's Boy, a member, so there's a lot to look forward to then. Well, if we make one. So there will not be a cast party, the, or there the will be? The party is what we make of it, Jay. Yeah, Jay, why don't you relax? We've got all of us. Party at Jay's house. We've got we some more people over there. In the tent. Sure. We'll pitch your tent again. Be great. It needs to be aired out a little, the tent. Yeah, it does. There were a lot of people It was in real there. ripe in there last night. Yeah. Did any... Um, no. Uh, no. No. Nope. No, no, no. It didn't happen. Oh, you know what I was going <laughs> to say. Yeah. Exactly. I was going to ask if you ate Skittles in the tent. <laughs> no, we didn't. Who did what? Skittles. Uh, Skittles. There was any Skittle consumption <laughs> in the There were tent? no Skittles. Is that another one of those urban dictionary words? Yeah, what does that one mean? I'll give you... Skittles? Use it in a pickup line. Go hey ahead. girl, let me, me see your Skittles. Oh, so that's boobs. Uh, boobs. I don't Skittles. think that's what it is. I would know. Uh, nuts. No, a girl wouldn't have nuts. Uh, well. Well. I would, say, I would say loosely you could call it the goodies. Like the... the. But I don't like Skittles. Pelvic area. Can we... Hold on a second. Emily's cup is about to overflow. Can we get a check of where you guys are at? <laughs> oh, hell no. Wowza. Can I see where you guys are at? Mine's we, stuck. I No, it's not. <laughs> it's burning. Are you going to run around with that cup all night? I might. That is sexy. Are you? I might. Really? I will. Can I drink out of it if you do? Not right now. Will you please drink out of his cup? I will. I dare you. Come on. You know you want to. If you drink his cup, I'll drink my cup. With his fingers in it? Yeah, no. But that's like impossible. No, he, he can take them out. Yeah, which hand is that? Whack off right. hand. Are you a righty or a lefty? Technically, I'm a righty, but most of the time I do left because it's, it's kind of like somebody else is there with you. Ooh. Megan, how much sauce did you actually drink this morning, though? Not that much. So I'll take my hand out. It's time to pay the piper. Drink it, please. There's stuff floating in it. <laughs> it's <laughs> just skin. Is there something in there? Or is After it a she drinks it, will you it's tell me how many places, things you've touched today? Yes. Okay. If there's anything gross in there, you can't see it. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Okay. Chug, chug, Hi, Mom chug, and Dad. Chug. I'm not going to drink all of it. I'm just going to take a <laughs> mouthful <laughs> of it. Saturday's drink mission. Drink mission. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. My friend is in the audience like, no. <laughs> no, Mom. do it. It's Molly, sterile. I have to. It's my pride. You're in a sterile. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. <laughs> okay, now cue with the video of him washing the bathrooms at Nordstrom an hour ago. <laughs> Actually, it's worse than that. Prior to coming back here, I was over at Kelly's Olympian, and I rubbed his hand under the <laughs> no, table. You did not. I did. And okay. then I went to their restroom. Have you ever been to the restroom at Kelly's Olympian? Oh, my Olympian? God. I'm going to get dysentery. <laughs> You'll be you lucky. Did. You rub the if table? that's all you get. Well, yeah, I was like, well, I have this habit. It truly is the Oregon Trail. I go gum hunting. <laughs> Wherever I go. For gum, do you put it in your mouth after you do it? No, I just like to count it. What were you, were you looking for gum under tables? Gum hunting, yeah. What do you do with the gum? Do you pull Mattress it off or you just touch no, it? No, I just, well, I kind of touch it. Yeah. Do you make it into weird shapes? Like, I uh, try and press it down like little pancakes. I can feel like it already. I can gum. feel it coming yeah. back already. That's a pleasant surprise because then people aren't really the going to know. They like, put their knee up against it. They would have no idea. Well, you can, it makes it so you can put more gum. They have it was not fries. A1 and ranch I like I had this morning. That was really bad. This isn't as bad. Oh, we're just all talking over each other. How do you figure that? People eat A1 and ranch. People Together? drink that and put People their fingers in their mouth after they run all over the place. People do not lick the undersides of tables. Now oh, my I fingers don't. are in your backwash. Well, let's settle this once You're and for welcome. all. A1 or Heinz 57? 
Heinz 57. A1. A1. 57. A1. Deal breaker? Yes. <laughs> Thank A1 you. or Heinz 57, sir? I'm sorry, what? A1 or Heinz 57. Oh, Heinz 57. I'm from oh, Pittsburgh. What do you 57 want? takes it. Boom. I'm from Pittsburgh. So. Really? Indeed. Yeah. That's where stuff's made. Right um, from the river. They just dredge the bottom of the, ri- the Ohio <laughs> River. <laughs> About what? Should we discuss uh, what kind of food we have consumed here um, around the square? Because I would like to share that I had a really tasty burrito with loads of sour cream on it. Um, I had a really no bomb rice. hot dog. And, and no, no rice. rice. Why can't you eat rice? I was just saying that. I, don't, I can eat it. I just don't like rice. Mm. And, uh, How do you not like rice? It just, it's like a filler, you know? It's just unnecessary baggage in the burrito. You eat beans. I love beans. They're a filler. They're, they're good fiber. But I didn't think beans and rice missed it. <laughs> what, what beans and rice didn't, didn't miss, miss it. Anybody? Baby got back. No. I, I missed that one. Wow, that was obscure. You just I you was, found that way. That's not obscure. I was with you on that. That hey, that well, song was a plot of baby friends. Got back. Oh, beans and rice like didn't like miss it. Yeah. Yeah. Not like I ever okay. saw that. All we right. got it. Speaking We're on your friends. Have We're you seen uh, what's his name lately? Chandler? No, Joey. Oh, Matt oh, Warren. He is a hot not mess. Matt LeBlanc. Um, Le, dude, LeBlanc. He looks like Richard Gere. <laughs> Richard Gere. And with that. Richard Gere. <laughs> Richard Gere. Oh, this is gear. Yeah. Oh, like a gear, like a gearbox. Right. Like man gears. D- yeah. No, like Richard Gere. Like a shifter on your pants. <laughs> Pretty much looks like Richard Gere. Yeah. Oh, Gere. Oh, uh, yeah. Is, I mean, is would Richard you Gere that? a porn star? No. No, but what? um. No, well, in the gerbil that. world, he is. Richard Gere, think about it. It could totally... But I mean, the situation is soon to be a porn star. Anyway, what about it? We don't need to... Not. That's right. disgusting. I just made that up. You're right. Rick Tarosi does not approve of the Jersey Shore as a show. Let me tell Rick you this. Rick Tarosi hates the Jersey Shore. I mean, you're from Jersey, Jay, right? Area? No, Area? <laughs> Two minutes ago, what I say? I'm from Pittsburgh. Oh. It's close to Jersey, yeah, right? Yeah, it's northeast. <laughs> sure. It's like the same it's Just place, a state away. Basically. Six, seven hours. It's all Charlie! Over there. You Once it's all through. over there, it doesn't matter. Somebody just did a backflip. Wait, the kind of from stuff Jersey? that's happening right now. Nobody just did a backflip. I got distracted. See, oh. ladies and gentlemen, meth, meth can work for you. Can you do that again? <laughs> Nobody who's not here can see this, but it's all that matters. Oh, my God. I hope he doesn't hurt himself this time. Yay! What well, would happen if his head landed in the pee? I would feel like a real jerk. Yeah, no, he, he went, he went over there. He Charlie, went, can you he, do that in the, the old pee spot? No, he's going to hurt oh the Oh, my God. Charlie he was really going to do it. And then he, the second guy. Charlie goes to that clown college him. in Corvallis called Oregon State. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Charlie, Charlie. You worship some sort of beaked animal? No, don't even Charlie, go there. Charlie, calm down. Wait. I went there, too. You like the I'm weavers? With you. Just relax. I, go to, I, got, I got real defense. I was a cheerleader for two years. I get real that defensive about the beavers. So much. Oh, beaverette. Oh, my God. He was don't a cheerleader. Even. It's a good thing you don't have I, the microphone. I, so I did hear that right. Yeah. Okay. Wait, did you what what team did you cheer for? Was this Pride or is this that Oregon <laughs> State? <laughs> well, like Pride fighting, is that what you're talking about? Uh, oh, well, the, Charlie. the gay Pride that they do here? Actually, the funny thing is I was really reluctant to do it, to be honest, because they were like I'll just be I was like no, that's gay. And then all of a sudden I went to a practice and I was like, "Okay, this looks kind of cool." And I stereotype like anybody else, so I thought that like all the guys there were probably gay because that's what everybody thought. And then at the gay pride? No, at at cheerleading. At cheerleading. Oh. Cheerleading. And then all okay. of a sudden, I realized that only one guy was, and I was like, "This is not what I expected." Wow, I feel less uncomfortable now. There no, was... I still felt uncomfortable because I wasn't comfortable putting my hand on their butt, like you're required to. And you got real to. comfortable doing it, didn't you? Then I you? got comfortable, and it it was all downhill from there. It became like a slip and slide. And then for you your did hand. backflips over your urine spots in the square. Oh. Really going up in the world, oh. Charlie. Moving on up. <laughs> Can I take my hand out of this now? No. Nope. Yeah, oh, no. We Why? haven't done yet. We're it hasn't still... been a half hour. Yeah. yeah, it has. No. I can't. Yes, Why? It it's 9 o'clock. Okay. okay. All it's right. It has it's been. You guys off. can take it out now. Emily has to keep her zip for longer, though. Yeah, Emily has to have a couple extra minutes because you were f- No, my hand is already pruned and grape. Thank you. All right. Do it. Well, there are other things that we should discuss before we head out yeah. and, you know, bid farewell to what has been 30-hour day. Well, it's still an hour left. Oh, mine looks like I put it in poo. <laughs> still an hour left. You can still donate if you go to 30hourday.org and click Donate Now. Yeah, it doesn't have to be huge. You can give you know, money. A couple bucks, cans of food. This hour's That's money really goes looking. to the Oregon Trail chapter of the American like Red Cross. It's like peekaboo. Yay. Oh, my God, a taste of the rainbow. That is beautiful. Skittles. Uh, beautiful image. You know what?